Whether you're a keyboard mouse beginner or an advanced player that's been using it for years, the settings in this video will help you get faster edits, better aim, optimize your delay, boost your FPS. Basically, you'll be on your way to playing like Peter Vaughn. But make sure to watch every section of what I'm about to show you because every part of it is going to help you get better, starting with the display settings. Now, if you're playing on keyboard and mouse, chances are you're using a PC, but it's possible to be on console as well, and these settings will work for both. And we're just gonna run through everything. So first, you wanna be playing on full screen mode. This lowers your delay. Default resolution, V-Sync off, frame rate as high as you can get consistently. You don't wanna set it too high and then start dropping frames, because if you do that, it makes your game feel really bad. And on PC, some of the most important settings to making sure your game runs with high FPS and low delay aren't even in these Fortnite settings. They're actually in the depth of the PC settings. But there's this app that I've been using called Hone.gg that optimizes everything for you. They're sponsoring this part of the video to get the word out that to get a whole free PC optimization, you simply download their app, apply the optimizations and boost ups of your choosing, and go from your FPS looking like this to looking like this. They're easy to deactivate if you need to. And there is a premium version for maximum FPS, but free works great as well. It has my game feeling the best it's ever felt, and over 80,000 people use it every day for the same reason. It also has a bunch of pro player settings and binds, which is a cool bonus. So go to hone.gg or click the link in the top of the description and the pinned comment to check it out. Because after all, it's probably more important to have your game run well compared to having a good keyboard and mouse sensitivity. So to pair with that, obviously we're going for performance, so we want performance mode turned on. Personally, I leave all my graphic settings on default, so like my brightness, my colorblind mode, it's all just default, but I do know some people that turn this on Tritonope and it'll turn their brightness up a little bit. Basically, it just makes everything way brighter and you can see in zone better. So if you like to play competitive lot, maybe do that. Personally, I really don't. Then on performance mode, obviously 3D resolution, I go all the way up and then everything else I just have on low. Typically, having your FPS show to see if you're actually dropping frames or not is a good idea, so have that turned on. And now that our FPS and input delay is optimized for the most part, we can head over to the audio tab, which really over here, the only setting that really matters is having visualized sound effects turned on. Every single pro in the world uses this because it lets you see things that you can't actually hear. Then we can head into the game section. Just in case you are on auto, it's actually better to go in and set the server to the one with the lowest MS. For movement, most of these are just personal preference, but this is what I like. This is what I think most people use. Down to combat, this is what I'm rocking. For preferred item slots on keyboard and mouse, this is usually what I'm using. Shotgun is always in the first weapon slot, usually in AR is in the second. Sometimes it can be an SMG. Then it's usually two heals and always a utility in the last slot to get away from fights or get down from height. So below that will be the building tab. Reset building choice I like turned on. Disable pre-edit. On keyboard and mouse, I have this off. However, as you can see, I'm also very low ping, so I never accidentally pre-edit my build. Whereas if you were on higher ping, it's very easy to accidentally pre-edit a build and then you're just stuck here doing this. So I'd say if your ping is above like 30 and you're a fast editor, I'd definitely turn this on. Turbo building we obviously want on and auto confirm edit, set it to both. The majority of really good keyboard mouse players today, like the pro players, are using confirm edit on release. People used to think that it was slower, but turns out it's actually faster to the point where even Peterbot uses it. It makes editing easier and therefore faster. And then for the rest of these just random game options, this is what I'm using. If you really want to try to max your FPS out and get the lowest input delay, then turn off all replays. Personally, I like them on. I like to be able to see who is in my game. This new sleep mode and energy saving is actually pretty important, especially for input delay. Just change your activate sleep mode to never and then turn both of these off. You want to make sure your game is getting all the power your PC can offer. And then that's just some random rocket racing settings. Then we get to the game UI tab. Over here, a lot of this is personal preference. I definitely change your damage number scale all the way to the max. And actually, I'd have your HUD scale even bigger than this. I just have it so low because I record videos and put my face cam and hand cam back. However, for the rest of these, you don't really want to mess with them too much. The touch and motion tab, this obviously doesn't apply to you because this is for controller. These last two tabs also don't apply to you, but what does apply to you is this tab, the mouse and keyboard sensitivity. So for the mouse, we have a 6.4% for both x-axis and y-axis sensitivity. And by the way, that's running your mouse at an 800 DPI. The targeting sensitivity is 45% in the same thing with the scope sensitivity. If you are having a hard time hitting your AR shots in your medium to long range shots, you can turn down these two. So maybe you want to go something to like a 39 or even like a 35 on your targeting. Personally though, I like 45. And then the building and editing sensitivity are just 100%. They're the same thing as these. But when I really learned keyboard and mouse and fully grinded 
it for a week as a complete beginner these are the exact sensitivities that i use and i feel like my aim got so good in just that one week of playing i mean i was hitting high damage flick pump shots like consistently i was picking up the mammoth pistol and going nuts with it and i'd say my builds and edits weren't too bad either so i think definitely as a beginner to intermediate player this is a very good sensitivity and the player I actually modeled these settings from is booga i got this from him a while ago at this point booga's actual targeting and scope sense is quite a bit lower so these are actually booga sensitivities today but i'm gonna stick with mine in one more time if you don't know what the dpi is it's actually not a setting in fortnite it's in your mouse settings and right here we can click on my mouse and you can see my dpi is set to 800 but you can see here that the dpi goes from 100 all the way up to 25,600. and this completely changes your mouse's sensitivity like look i'm not even moving my mouse and look how far my cursor is going versus if i click 100 look how far i have to move my mouse and how little my mouse cursor actually moves so if you're going to copy the settings that i'm showing you you have to use 800 dpi otherwise they don't work they'll be completely different settings so make sure you can get into your mouse's software and change that now going below this we have the keyboard movement where you can actually use double movement binds so i obviously have this turned on and then i think these are pretty much the standard double movement binds you want 70 percent on forward diagonal angle 90 on strafe angle and 135 on backward diagonal angle then these bottom ones are just kind of some random settings and now for binds binds are going to be different for everyone you might already be comfortable with a certain set of binds and to be honest these might not even be the most optimal binds. basically what i use is q for wall i use c for stair i use v for floor and i use left shift for cone my pickaxe and weapon slots are just one through six on the number keys obviously with the easiest of them all to click being my shotgun so that's on two and arguably the most important bind which is to edit is on f i have sprint on one of my mouse buttons i use left control to crouch and slide and then obviously i have scroll wheel reset it's so op and i also have scroll wheel pickup definitely make sure to take advantage of the scroll wheel feature because this is easily the most broken part about keyboard mouse now if you're actually a decent controller player like i am then learning keyboard and mouse can actually be really easy because you don't have to actually learn how to play the game you already know how to play the game how to do peace control how to do all of it you just basically have to get used to clicking different buttons to do those actions that's why good controller players like g money can so easily switch to keyboard and mouse and still be a pro and really the fastest way you can learn all of this is just by sitting in creative either free building or 1v1ing players of a similar skill level or sitting in practice maps spending your time in actual games where you might not see a player for like five ten 10 minutes that is a complete waste of time you want to practice your mechanics as much as possible get as many reps in as possible and when i learned keyboard and mouse for a week and went from basically looking like this to now looking like this i think i put something like 30 hours of practice in that week and probably 28 of those hours were spent in creative it's the fastest possible way to get good and if you want a good map to use to free build around in i built this map specifically for that you can put on a custom crosshair if you want you can play music if you want you can change the background and you can just come in here chill and crank all you have to do to find this map is search cards 2k in the map tab and it'll come right up favorite it so you never lose it and then whenever you need to warm up or whatever you need to do come in here and just grind so hopefully this video helped you out if it did please make sure to subscribe help me get to 300k and thanks so much for watching